Wait, how heavy is it? Hey from Xtron here, in this video we're going to compare the Zion Crane 2 versus the Dajang Ronin S. I'm an avid user of the Crane 2 and I had the hand-on test of the Ronin S at CP+. We're not going to do any stability comparisons but we're going to talk about actual features that are useful for filmmakers who are traveling quite a lot and also for vloggers. This is how my bag looks like when I'm working with a crew that uses only Canon cameras, especially this is like a wedding setup. And another setup that I use is with Panasonic cameras and you can see that the Zion has its own compartment in both setup and it fits there nicely. And my backpack is the Manfrotto Veloci 7, which is one of the bigger backpacks that I have that I can carry onto a plane. However, trying out the Ronin S in the same bag and the same compartment, it, the head of it just sticks out, which makes it not fit that well. And dismantling the head makes it even worse as it takes up much more space this way. You might ask why not use the given hard case, however when I'm filming a wedding I'd rather have everything accessible in my backpack that I can quickly change my setup and switch around and not be carrying an extra case that is actually limiting my movement while I'm filming. Unless you have assistants who are going to haul around your bags for you. Recharging the Ronin as you must have the hand grip attached to the head as it uses the USB at the front of the head to recharge. There's no separate charger available at the moment. And also at the moment you cannot buy a backup battery and the only way to get one is to buy a second Ronin S. With the Crane 2 you have separate chargers and you can also buy the battery separate and also find third party batteries. Currently you can only use the GH5 to pull focus on the Ronin S. And only with native lenses with focus motors and also certain lenses with focus motors via an adapter. While with Zion you can focus with any lenses with a focus ring on any camera. Even though the quick release looks like a Manfrotto quick release, you cannot put a Manfrotto 501 PL plate onto the Ronin S. However, the plate on the Ronin S only fits onto a few Manfrotto fluid heads. While on the Crane 2, you can mount the Manfrotto 500 PL plate, while also the 500 P long, which is recommended for bigger cinema cameras. Making it much easier to move your camera from the Crane 2 to a professional Manfrotto tripod. However, you can add the 577 quick release plate onto the Ronin S to make it more compatible with the Manfrotto 501 plate. However, that would make the Ronin S weigh more than 2.5 kilograms while you still need to mount a camera on it. A stripped down Ronin S weighs more than 2 kilograms and it actually is much more than what they advertise. For reference, the Ronin S weighs as much as a 2 liter bottle. And the display they showed at the DJI booth weighs almost 4 kilograms, which is the same as holding two 2 liter bottles. However, stacked onto each other and holding it like this. However, the same camera and lens setup on the Crane 2 weighs 3.3 kilograms and you can control the focus electronically because it's a Canon. While the Crane 2 with additional gravity plate, servo focus and counterweight still weighs less than the Ronin S. A stripped down Crane 2 weighs 1.48 kilograms which is actually slightly higher than the advertised weight of 1.25. However, it's still much lighter than the Ronin S. This is a setup that I use with my Canon C100 Mark II and it weighs slightly under 4 kilograms. However, using the same camera setup on the Ronin S, it would weigh much, much more than 4 kilograms, which makes it quite difficult to hold it for prolonged periods. Seeing all these heavy gimbal weights, I do advise everybody to take a break from time to time because holding these heavy gimbals you can injure yourself. Not just getting tired with your arms but you can also badly injure your back or uh, yeah, because you're moving about and holding this weight and you can actually get seriously injured if you didn't look out. So that was mainly it, hope you guys liked this video and please give me a thumbs up. If you are new to this channel, please hit that subscribe button here below and also make sure to hit that bell icon so you're always updated when I post a new video. And thanks for watching, bye bye!